Now let's talk about some spring buying tips, okay? Because, you know, if you're a buyer, you're out in full force. Yes, it's a seller's market, but you can still get the home that you want at a very affordable price because, again, the rates being where they are, you know, imagine if rates were at 6 or 7%, you'd be, you'd have quite quite a huge chunk more on your mortgage payment to pay. And that's going to happen at some point. So take advantage of this. Take advantage of these first time home buyer programs. Take advantage of uh, these these programs for folks that have been foreclosed on or, or had had a short sale before. Um, you're called boomerang buyers and you're coming back like a boomerang into the market. There's different programs for you. There's 100% financing programs for our veterans. There's 100% for rural areas for with through USDA. There's 3.5% down with FHA guidelines and, and so on and so forth. So you're going to want to link up with a, a mortgage broker and with a real estate agent to walk you through all of that. Okay. So get pre-qualified. That's the number one tip. Number two, obviously you're going to find that realtor. Okay. So you want to find a real estate agent. If it's, if it's my team or I, we'd love to help you out. Okay. If not, that's okay. There's some really awesome agents out there that are happy to help you out. Um, research areas. Okay. So va basically visit those neighborhoods um, that you're considering buying. Okay check them out at different times um, to kind of see what's going on in those neighborhoods so you can get the overall vibe of what's happening you know um, you want to be comfortable where you live you want to love where you live and you want to stay there for a while it's a big investment and you want to make sure it's right for you okay you don't want to be calling us a year later saying hey Emilio can we sell because look if the market only grows you know um, X amount of percent well that covers your fees and that covers, you know, maybe some of your taxes or maybe not. Maybe you'll be bringing money to the closing table. So you, you want to have kind of a pretty long term plan, at least four or five years. OK, um, other than that, don't bite off more than you can chew. So you may be pre and John, the reason why I use John Castori and, 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 and even Matt Bates with Movement Mortgage is the fact this is because both of you guys, OK, you, you guys, you've, I've heard you tell this to clients that are like, oh, we want this $400,000 house. Well, they're pre-approved for four hundred, dollars okay? But we can find them what they want for three fifty, dollars and I've heard you say that, okay? Yeah, correct. And that's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, it's it's a lot of money on top of just your monthly mortgage payment yeah. that you'll be shelling out that you're not used to, if, especially if you're a first-time home buyer. Yeah, no, definitely. You have to be careful with that monthly payment. You, you, you do. I mean, think about the maintenance, the utilities. Think about, um, you know, uh, anything that could come up. What if your fridge breaks? What if your car breaks down? Something always comes up with the house. Exactly. So, something always comes up with the house, you know? Um, it's crazy. So you want to make sure that you are comfortable with that monthly payment because you're going to be paying it for a little while. OK, uh, don't expect to go in and steal a house. All right. So homes on, on the median home here is selling at 94 percent of list price. But when you have a super hot area like Western Cranston or Warwick or North Smithfield um, homes, you know, more than less of the time are selling at, you know, 96, 97 percent of list price. So the days of going in and making those, you know, 85% offers and stealing houses, that's not going to work. Now, where you can do that, though, is either sometimes, sometimes on um, estate sales, depending on the situation, on short sales, on foreclosures, okay, th things like that. And, and talk with us. We'll consult you on all of that, okay? Um, and be ready to pull the trigger, guys. There is there is a multitude of buyers out there. I mean, 40 Musket in West Warwick is this house that we just recently listed, right? We had it on the market for two days. Legally and ethically, I can't tell you what kind of offer, but the sellers were blown away with what they're getting. And guess what? It wasn't the only one that came in. We had several come in that blew them away and they went with who they thought was the best. And it's not always about the highest price. You know, it's always, it's about who has the best type of financing or who has the, or who's going to waive their inspections or who's going to do this or that. So it's always going to vary. And depending on where you are um, and at what point in, in your, um, you know, real estate, I'd like to call it a career because it is an investment for you, right? At what point you are there, um, you know, Know, the different ways of negotiating um, for you specifically are going to vary.